Amy Drew with your news briefing. More than 30,000 new COVID cases have been recorded across eastern Australia in the past 24 hours, ahead of New Year's Eve celebrations that are set to happen across the country tonight. New South Wales has almost doubled on yesterday's figures with more than 21,000 infections and six deaths. Victoria's recorded just under 6,000 and seven deaths. Queensland's topped 3,000, while Tasmania has 137. Speaking with nine, Doherty Institute Director Sharon Lewin says the challenge now among this case blowout is learning to live with the virus. Even if we have, even if Omicron is much less severe, having a very large pool of people that are infected still puts pressure on our healthcare system. So the breaks can't come off completely, but it's certainly safe to relax these measures as we have done. While unions are slamming the federal government for not making rapid antigen tests free, claiming vulnerable Aussies are being left behind. The Australian Council of Social Service and the ACTU is urging the Prime Minister to follow other countries in making the tests free. National Cabinet refused to sign off on the measure, with the rats costing as much as 20 bucks per test. And Ghislaine Maxwell is likely to appeal her conviction for grooming underage girls after she was found guilty on five charges yesterday today, including sex trafficking. The British socialite is facing the prospect of spending the rest of her life behind bars. Live music returns in 2022 with Concert in the Clouds, a unique music event with no cues or last minute cancellations. Concert in the Clouds, exclusively on Listener. This just in, the Aussies have lost Travis Head for next week's fourth test after the batter tested positive for COVID. The squad are meant to be flying into Sydney today. Head will instead isolate in Melbourne for the next seven days. Three new names have been added to the Aussie squad with Mitch Marsh, Nick Maddinson and Josh Inglis now in the lineup. And New South Wales yacht Ichiban has been crowned overall winner of the Sydney to Hobart after rival Celestial was slapped with a 40 minute time penalty following two protests. Selling the family home. skies for the limestone coast this New Year's Eve, dropping to 14 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, cloudy skies in store, a top of 32, then going down to 24 on Sunday. And the Listener app is the new home of your local news. Join now to listen live or on demand.